Let's take a look at all of the surface and subsurface maritime vessels within the U.S. Special Operations Command arsenal, with an emphasis on their primary functions, capabilities, and unique characteristics. I've already made a video about all of the helicopters and fixed-wing aircraft within the Special Operations community. Be sure to check them out after this video is over. We will keep this discussion unclassified, so if I don't mention certain characteristics or capabilities, it's on purpose. Let's start with the CCA. The Combatant Craft Assault is a fast boat operated by special boat teams. It replaces the Mark V Special Operations Craft, which went out of service in 2013. The CCA's primary role is medium-range maritime interdiction operations in medium to high threat environments. It also performs insertion and extraction of special operations forces and coastal patrol operations. Let's move on to its little brother, the CCM. The combatant craft medium, operated by special boat teams, is a reconfigurable multi-mission craft with a primary mission of soft insertion extraction, and fire support. It can also support maritime interdiction and visit board search and seizure operations. Unofficial sources report a length of 60 feet, a max speed of 50 knots, a range of 400 nautical miles, and a crew of four. Its armament includes a remote weapon station on the bow with a 50 cal, M240 machine guns, and Mark 19 grenade launchers. Next we have the Special Operations Craft Riverine. The Special Operations Craft Riverine performs short-range insertion and extraction of SOF in riverine and littoral environments. Its length is 33 feet, it can reach a speed of 40 knots, has a range of 125 nautical miles, and a crew of four, one helmsman and three gunners. Their armament includes an aft-mounted 50 cal, two M240s, two Mark 19s, and two miniguns. Next we have the 11 meter Naval Special Warfare Rigid Inflatable Boat, or RIB. It's an oldie but a goodie. It's a high speed, high buoyancy, extreme weather craft with the primary mission of seal insertion extraction. It has a length of 11 meters, a speed of 40 knots, it has a range of 200 nautical miles, and a crew of three. What do you think of this picture of a rib using the Maritime External Air Transport System? Beats having a real job. Next up is the Combat Rubber Raiding Craft Zodiac. This boat can be used for over-the-horizon transportation, inserting lightly armed raiding parties or reconnaissance teams onto beaches, piers, offshore facilities, and larger vessels. The Zodiac can be deployed from the air, a helicopter, the water, a trailer, or a bunch of SEAL candidates carrying it around on their heads. Put an outboard engine on it to be fast, or paddle it to be silent. This is a versatile and low-tech maritime platform. Let's move on to the dry combat submersible. The DCS has a dry interior, enabling longer mission durations with improved comfort and communication. Its mission set includes hydrographic reconnaissance and insertion extraction of seals. It displaces 28 tons, has a length of 12 meters, a speed of 5 knots, a range of 60 nautical miles, and a complement of 2 crew, 8 seals. Let's finish off with the SEAL delivery vehicle. The SDV Mark 8 is a free flooding, wet submersible designed for undersea special operations, including direct action, hydrographic reconnaissance, and insertion extraction of SEALs. It displaces 17 tons, has a length of 22 feet, a speed of 6 knots, a range of 15 nautical miles, and a complement of two crew, four passengers. Okay, so there you have it, the maritime vessels within the SOCOM arsenal. I'll never forget an opportunity I had to do some foreign internal defense as part of a counter-drug mission. 
Our partner nation colleagues got an intel update and rushed out to sea in their fast boats to interdict a drug shipment worth millions, all in a day's work. And so again I say, it beats having a real job. Please like and subscribe if you want to join my life as a special operations team. And don't forget to forward this video to a friend who needs to see this. Life is a special operation. Are you ready for it?